Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Designer Brickell here with another video for you. In this video, I am going to go over my favorite sewing tools. These are also great for pattern making and just everyday supplies that I use to create my designs. So I got my sewing box here. That's where I put all my junk in, so I would recommend getting one of these boxes. You can get one at Joann's, or I'm sure you can Google it, find it on Amazon, or just kind of wherever sewing supplies are sold. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this video. Uh, let's... Oh, first thing I do want to say is if you are new to this channel, this channel is all about sewing, fashion. I am an inspired fashion designer. I just finished getting my associate's degree in fashion design and now I am working on my technical apparel degree. So after this term, I will be done and I would love to start my own business. But anyway, please subscribe if that's something you're interested in. And if this video has been helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or concerns, you can leave me a comment or if you have any other questions you can just send me a message on Instagram or any other social media platforms. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to start with the iron. Now you can do or you can get an industrial iron or just a basic home sewing iron. The iron you're going to need to press your seams, make sure everything is sharp and looking good you oh like your iron is your best friend so i just have a basic home one and after following the iron what's really great with pressing is a sewing ham this one in particular is really good for pressing your sleeve cap or any other kind of turns that you need to make when sewing garments um, I don't know. I could get more into that in another video. So if you'd like more videos on that, just comment below. I really like this one. It's really great. The next one, use this for your sleeves. Next, you're going to want, of course, a seam ripper. Now I have a little one and a big one because for like bigger seams you want on pick, I feel like this one is easier but then for like more delicate fabrics, I like to use the little one because then the big one will leave holes. It's more likely to leave holes in your fabric. So that's why I have both just depending on my project. And then another fun trick when you are unpicking, if anyone doesn't know, you want to put this round ball side inside of the seam with the tip out this will help you prevent any or creating any holes in your fabric as if you were to have it the other way that is more likely to create holes in your fabric so have again this side down okay um i'm gonna go over my rulers now you're gonna need a lot of different rulers when you are creating patterns the first ruler, I just have a wooden yardstick. I got this at Joann's. So this has been like really helpful for creating straight lines and just overall, you know, you can use it to measure your fabric. So this has just been really helpful. Plus it's like extra long for the like longer lines you need to make, like if you're drafting pants or just like longer um, patterns. And then the next one that you will need is just make sure all of your rulers are clear when you are making patterns because then you are able to see where you are going. So I have just a basic one, let's see here. So it's two inches wide and 17 inches long. Um, I really like this one. I got this one at Joann's as well. So this is the ruler that I use all the time. <clears throat> I 
My next ruler is a French curve. This is for create, helping me uh, create circles. This is really helpful when I want to create Peter Pan collars. So this is just super helpful. Or sleeves. This is really helpful for drafting sleeves. And then this one is, hopefully you can see it. This one is a hip ruler. How it has like this kind of curve at the end. This is helpful for creating that perfect hip shape in patterns. And then this one I got at Joann's as well. And same with the other ruler, the curved one, I just got at Joann's. <clears throat> and then this one too. This one's a more common one. This one just helps with different curves as well. And I got this at Joann's. <clears throat> and then this one is just like a basic half circle. You can get this one anywhere. I think I got this one at Staples. So this one's been really helpful too. And then I just have like a bigger basic quilting one. Um, this one's been really helpful as well, especially if I have like, I don't know, bigger pieces that I wanted to measure out. Or I like to use this one with my rotary cutter. That's the other tool, get a rot rotary cutter. This is really helpful when you are cutting out knits or you got a lot of stuff to cut out. This is really helpful as well. And of course, you are going to need a measuring tape. And the measuring tape you can pretty much find everywhere that sells sewing supplies. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the different sewing pins. So what you're going to want if you are sewing garments is your basic dress pins. Now the dress pins are going to be longer than your normal pins because sometimes at the store you'll see pins that have the ball but then they're shorter. Those ones for me personally I don't think are as helpful as the longer dress pins. And then the other ones I would get, this one is for dressmaking when you are draping on your mannequin. These are just like your basic pins and it doesn't have the little ball on the end. But these ones are helpful for when you are draping your patterns. And then for the pins, you can either get a wrist, little wrist pin cushion. I got this at Joann's. Most of my stuff I think I got at Joann's or I just ordered it online. Or you can get your little uh, sewing cushion and then it comes with like that little like pepper looking thing. Now a great tip is the pepper actually has sand in it and it helps sharpen your pins. This one just holds your pins, but the one with the sand in it helps sharpen it. And then another way how you can sharpen your pins is by sticking it in soap. And that will help make your pins last longer. Oh yeah, and then another ruler is the this little short one. I got this one at Hobby Lobby. It's just the one inch by five. This one's really helpful for when you are illustrating your patterns or designs so this one's like really helpful or if you just have like a tiny part of your pattern that you want to hurry and you know this helps i think you get what i mean okay um the next part are these clips these little sewing clips are really helpful for when you are doing fittings and maybe like your customer or whoever you're doing a fitting with isn't very comfortable with you using pins or maybe you just don't feel comfortable using pins I like to use these little clips and then I I would just search like little fitting clips and then this should come up but I'll put a link down below for some of these um, especially these ones okay next tool now you need a good pair of sewing scissors. There's a bunch of different brands, so whatever brand is helpful to you, I would just go with that brand. Like these ones are my favorite. These have lasted me a really long time and they're pretty cheap. I just got this at Walmart. And then you need your basic 
paper scissors and then that's you know you can get them anywhere okay my next tool are these little clipper embroidery scissors I just got these at Joann's and these are really helpful for just clipping threads off of your project or when you're sewing you can just try and snip it off so these I I love these so much are there this kind as well I think you mostly see people using these ones okay my next tool are tweezers now when you're when you get a sewing machine most sewing machines come with little tweezers um or you can just buy some but they're they're just really helpful for threading and just other little tricky um things that you're doing okay the next one is this this is a needle holder so when you are changing your needle in your sewing machine you just press the button underneath and then on top you see how there's this little hook that is going to hold your needle when you like press it down it goes down so that will help hold your needle to help you put it inside of the sewing machine so if you're having like um trouble put changing your needle or maybe sometimes like when I change my needle, my fingers will get kind of oily from the machine. So I like to use this to help me change my needle. So this is super helpful. It's just a needle holder. Okay. And then to clean out my sewing machine, I just have one of these little dust cleaners. And I got this at Joann's. Okay, I did that. Okay, next tool. This is an awl, and what it does is for pattern making, it has that little sharp uh, tip. This is helpful for pattern making, and when you create a dart on the bodice, you want to mark the tip of the bodice, so that way when you are, um, you know, when you're sewing or cutting out or whatever you're doing, you can mark the tip of your uh, dart, and then this will help you know where to stop and how to sew your dart. So I'll make tutorials. I have a lot of videos that I'd like to make. So I'll show an example of this. But this is really helpful. Another thing I like to use this for is when I'm sewing and pushing my uh, project under my machine. I like to sometimes use this, the awl, to like help keep it down on some uh turns and corners that I make so this is just really helpful to have the next one is a tracing wheel so the tracing wheel has a these little like sharp pricklies this is really helpful for and then I'm also gonna say get wax free tracing paper but so the you put your tracing paper and then that will help um, mark like where your dart is or just any other um, notches that you want to mark down where you need to sew. So tracing paper I got at Joann's. I like to get the wax free one and then the tracing wheel. I got this one on Amazon and it came with two of them. So these have been really helpful. So I recommend these. Okay, next thing is so marking pens. If you ever need to mark your project, you want to make sure that you're marking on your fabric with a safe marker so it doesn't stain your fabric. So I have enjoyed this one. This one I got at Joann's. This the purple side's disappearing and then the blue ones mark be gone. So it's very easy to clean this off and the purple end will just, like after you mark it, after a certain amount of time, it will disappear so it doesn't leave a stain on your fabric. And then this is another one, it's just the blue one. So it will, it will um, disappear after you use water. So you just get some basic cotton, put a little water on it and then rub it off and it will come off or wash it if you'd like. The next one is I like to get a sharpie 
for when I'm making patterns to mark and write down on my envelopes. So I like to get these bigger envelopes at the dollar store because I like to put my patterns in them. So after I create a pattern and I want to keep my sewing room organized, I put it in these little bigger um, envelopes and you can get like six or ten of them at once at the dollar store so this is really helpful so then I use my sharpie to write down what the pattern is what size um, and what year okay and then the next one is your basic measuring guide so that's just another little ruler I got this at Joann's as well Okay, let's go ahead and then I also have just regular tape for my patterns. If I need to cha make a change to my pattern, I can cut it and then tape it up, so that's really helpful. Uh, the next thing is to get a glue stick, and I really like this brand. This brand I got at... Winco, but I'm sure you can find it at Walmart or Reams as well. So I like to get the little ones and then the big ones. So like if I have a lot like a bigger strip, then I use the bigger one. Or if I just have like a little piece that I need to glue, then the little one. So this is really perfect for pattern making. So this might have been my favorite glue. All the other glue is just cheap and I just don't like it. But anyway. The next thing is this thimble. So this thimble, I actually got this on Wish and because my other thimbles have just been too big for my fingers so I love this one because you can adjust the size and the fit behind. So it's been really, it's actually supposed to go on this finger. So this has been really, really helpful. So I recommend Wish plus it was only like, I think it was just a dollar. And you can get different sizes as well. So get this thimble on Wish. And then just like your basic screwdrivers, but when you get your sewing machine or if you have a sewing machine, it should come with it, but you can just kind of order these different screwdrivers for your sewing machine. And then the next, oh yeah, I almost forgot. So when you are sewing, another good marker that I like to use is just basic wax. Or if I'm sewing a, like a trickier project that the wax doesn't mark on that fabric, then I like to use chalk, just basic um, sewing chalk, sewing wax. You can look up, I'm sure, on Amazon and um, yeah, one thing I would recommend is be careful when using the chalk because on some fabrics, the chalk won't, uh, like when you steam it, it won't come off. But when you, when you um, iron the wax, it will come off. So don't worry about, I would mostly use wax. Now my next tool that I would recommend getting is draping tape. Now it's a very thin tape that you can tape on your dress form that will help you know the design and pattern shape that you would like to create. I ordered mine on Amazon and it came in a bunch of different colors and it's it lasts me quite some time so definitely recommend this. It's really helpful. Okay my next tool, and I know it's super random and you're probably going to be surprised, but it is clear fingernail polish. Now I like to use this just in case my fabric ever were to create a hole or I want it a little bit more stabilized. I like to put just a little bit of clear fingernail polish to help it, like if I'm sewing with mesh for an example. And there's a hole I like to put a little bit on and it won't fray so I really like this next thing I would recommend getting now this is the big finale 
is a bolt and I would get a whole bolt of muslin. Muslin is just basic cotton that you use to drape onto your mannequin to create your pattern. So it's really easy to sew with. It's super fun. Um, this one I got at Joann's. It was just $2.99 a yard. And then that's like the detail of it. But I'll put a link below on the item number so you can look it up. And yeah, I'd recommend getting that. And then I would recommend getting a big roll and it comes in different sizes as well but i would get a big roll of basic pattern paper you can also get butcher paper my next tool that i would get is a cutting mat this is perfect for cutting you know hence cutting mat um yeah i don't know this one's lasted me quite some time i really love it you guys the finale is I would get a dress form. This one I ordered online at Mannequin Mall, I believe it's called. And this one is a size 8. I For just like a basic everyday size, I would just get a size 8. And then you can always size down or size up from a size 8. Um, but I mean, that's just your preference, whatever you would like to get. So I will link below of that um, company that I ordered my mannequin at. And then this is the tape that I talked about before. This was just like a pattern idea. Okay, you guys, that is pretty much it. Um, those are all the sewing tools that I use that I have collected throughout the years and that has helped me very much. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have... A favorite sewing tool in mind that you like to use please comment down below and let me know I would love to check it out and use it if you have any other questions for me please send me a message either on Instagram comment down below thank you so much please subscribe if you would like to learn um, more things fashion and sewing related so thanks so much bye guys